It is important to line up the center line of the neck to the center line of the body. Once this has been achieved, trace the heel of the neck onto the body. Here a jig has been set in place. This jig acts as a stop for the router. Using a laser or a straight edge, check to make sure that the neck and body are still lined up correctly. Draw a center line on the face of the neck. Using your router and a 3 8 of an inch straight router bit, mill to the depth of 3 8 of an inch. Check the truss rod for fit. Mill a notch at each end of the channel and install the truss rod. Silicone is being used here in the notched out areas. This will keep the truss rod from rattling. Cover the truss rod with masking tape and trim off any excess tape. This will keep any glue out of the channel. Apply tight bond glue to the face of the neck. And set the fretboard in place lining up the center lines. Clamp the fretboard firmly to the neck. The more clamps used, the better the fit. Trim off any excess fretboard as close as possible without cutting the neck. Clamp a straight edge onto the fretboard and sand until the fretboard is even with the neck. Finish by rounding the neck to the fretboard. A 
again, mark a center line on the fretboard. The 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, 12th, 15th, 17th, 19th, 21, and 24th frets all get fret markers. I'm getting a little fancy with this neck. Each marked fret will get three fret markers. Drill a hole the thickness and diameter of the mother of pearl fret marker. Apply tight bond glue and insert the marker. This neck has a 12 inch radius, so the markers need to be sanded down to match. Pre-bend the fret wire to a 12 inch radius. This neck is a 24 fret, 25 and a half inch scale. The frets need to be placed in precisely the right locations or the guitar will play out of tune. The blade width on this fret slot saw is .023 inches. Using my drill press as an arbor press, I am pushing the frets into the slots. Snip off the excess fret and file the edges. After drilling six 10 millimeter holes, insert the tuning heads. If your tuning heads have mounting screws, pre-drill pilot holes first. Insert the washers and nuts and tighten. This is a Stuart McDonald tool called the string spacing rule. It makes string spacing so easy. Cut the string slots and file each slot according to the gauge strings you are using. I have talked about how important center lines are. This one is critical. The bridge must be centered on the body and neck or the strings will not line up correctly. Measure from the nut to the twelfth fret. Now carry that same measurement from the twelfth fret to the body. This is where the bridge must be mounted. These are templates for a vibrato style bridge. Center them on the body and mill according to the bridge specs. This is a makeshift spray booth made from a Rubbermaid canvas storage closet. Apply about 10 coats of polyurethane, lacquer or varnish. Install the pickups. Pre-drill all mounting screws first. This way no screws will break off or strip while installing. It's time to install the pre-wired Fernandez sustainer kit. Mount the neck onto the body. Mount the bridge, springs, and spring claw. Solder the ground wire to the spring claw. Mount the strap buttons, quarter inch phono jack, and battery. The selector switch and the preamp transformer were taller than I figured on. So I needed to mill out the back of the control cover to enable it to set flush. <laughs> 